Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install and configure AD Connect for Office 365. And here's all the steps that I'm going to follow. Number one is configure vanity domain and routable domain. Number two, you're going to do a fix user UPN. You're going to download the ID fix tool. Number three, we're going to download AD Connect. Number four, we're going to install and configure AD Connect. And number five, we're going to verify user accounts are synced to Office 365. Now let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is configure vanity domain and routable domain. So to configure vanity domain, you have to go into your Office 365 tenant. And I created a video how to add domain to your Office 365 tenants. You can, I'm going to copy the link and put in the, um, the description section for that video. So to do that, first of all, you log into your Office 365 tenant. Once you log in, you're going to admin. If you haven't done so, this is how you do it. So you go to admin and then you go to setup. Click show all here. Okay. You go to settings and then you go to domains and then you click on add domain and you will follow the process how to set that up. So as you can see, I have a vanity domains called mapmexpert.com. So this is going to be the primary domain or the default domain as you can see is the default. So this is for Office 365 tenant and the next thing you have to do is go into your Active Directory. The user that you're going to sync, you want to make sure you want to make sure it, it has a writable domain for the UPN. Um, for example, let's take a look at this one, accounts. As you can see, this user three, it's it does not have the uh, routable domain. It, you cannot have dot local. It has to be a routable like dot com, dot gov, dot edu, dot info, something like this. This is a routable domain. So the domain that I want is memexpert.com. I'm going to add that to my Active Directory. To do that, you go into um, you have to go to um, AD Site and Trust. So now let's go to Administrator Tools. I'm going to Domains and Trust. That's what it calls. And you want to click the top section go to property and you want to add your uh, vanity domain so it's going to be mem expert dot com click on add then click on apply Now let's look at the second step. You want to fix user UPN and by downloading the IDFix tools. So now let's go to Google and type in I download ID fix tool. So 
So you can just click the top part, the, the, the top section here, download IDFix tools. Here's information about the tools. You can read more about it if you want. Um, I'm already familiar with the tools. So I'm just going to download the tools. I'm going to extract these tools. Here's the also the documentations um, available you can read. I'm going to launch idfix.exe. That's fine, just information. So once you have this iFix tool is up, you can it's, let me make the windows a little larger a little bigger so you need to do is click on the query in the top here when you click on query it's going to query you your current active directory infrastructure so as you can see here it found a few of my users So I have user Carson, user two, and user three. <clears throat> There's an error. As you can see here, the error is top level domain. It's it's not correct. And the primary SMTP, I need to fix all these. It cannot be dot local and it cannot have a space. Or the special character. I'm going to fix it from the Active Directory user and group. Here's my user account. I'm going to double click, go to accounts. I'm going to remove the special character. I'm going to change this to writable domain and click apply. And my user three account, as you can see here, it has a space. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to f change this to writable domain. Click OK. I'm going back to the tools. I'm going to query again. As you can see, the two user has been fixed. I don't need to worry about this user. I'm not going to sing this user. I'm I'm just going to sing this OU only. So that's number two. Number three, we're going to download AD Connect and then install. Go back to Google here. Download AD Connect. It's at the very top. Here it is. I'm going to click download. All right, like it's finished. So I'm going to install by right click and then go to install, or you can just double click it. Click yes. Confirm, click yes again. Minimize the screen here. Oops. So here's the um, the beginning of the screen of uh, the uh, installation. Agree on to the licensing term. 
continue. I'm going to customize the setup. You don't want to use Express Setup. Express Setup is mainly for testing. So I'm going to customize. Installation required components. Specify custom installation location. If you want to install in different location, you can specify that. Use an existing SQL. If you have 100,000 objects or more, Microsoft recommended that you use the um, a full professional SQL Server. And if you have less than 100,000 um, with MySQL, it's installed by default. So I don't need that. Use an existing service account. I have a service account that I can use. Specify custom sync groups. If you want to sync a certain groups, certain security groups you can you have to specify that here so i'm not going to do any of these i'm going to click install i had it installed before so that's fine i'm just going to install over it Hmm, I guess it didn't let me install. I'm going to delete it then. Program files, Azure Active Direct Sync. Oops. Program files. It is Azure Active Directory 80 sync. I'm just going to delete the whole folder. Now let's try again. There it is. All right, so user sign in, there's a few options you can choose. The, the default is the password hash sync, um, and then the path through authentication. Or if you have ADFS in your environment, you might want to choose federation with ADFS, and also the federation with ping federate, or you do not configure it. So I'm going to choose path through authentication. Path, path authentication is mainly if you have maybe a couple of thousand users or more. Um, best practice um, because it has the high high availability. Um, you can have um, path authentication agent installed on multiple servers. Um, so I'm going to choose path authentication. And I'm going to enable sync and sign on. I'm going to enter my global admin account. All right, so the forest, I only have one forest, so I'm going to click Add. I'm going to use my existing account. So the account here, you want to make sure you have enough rights in your existing Active Directory.
it's read access write and also write access to a certain um, uh, OU. But my account, this account is a domain admin, so um, I won't have any problems with it. I'm going to click OK. All right, looks green. The min is good. I'm going to click Next. So let's see here. That's fine there. Select on the on prems to use the access reuse their name. It's going to be use the principal name, or you have different options to choose there. But by default, we recommend it that you use the UPN. Continue with a matching UPN. That's fine. That's you have no choice. Click next. So here's very important. Um, you don't want to sync everything. You want to make sure you sync only the OUs that you want to sync. So in my case, I'm going to uncheck everything. And then I'm going to choose Office 365 OU. And that should sync all the computers and users. I'm going to click Next. Unique identifier for users. Um, I'm going to take this as default. Click Next. Sync all for all user and devices. That's fine. Or you can select the group here by entering the group name. So I'm going to sync all users. Click Next. Okay, here's very important. If you have Exchange, in your environment, Exchange on-prem, you want to make sure you select that box. Um, Exchange, mail, public, and all that stuff here. Azure, ADF, filtering, password, has synchronization. By enable password synchronization, you can sign in to Azure without the need to deploy additional SSO. That's fine. I don't use the password that sync. Password right back. You want to allow user to um, reset their password. There's two places you have to enable. You want to enable this one here in AD Connect, and then you have to enable in your Azure group right back. I'm not going to do anything there. Device right back. That's for the device directory extension sync. I'm not going to do anything here. I'm not going to select anything here. I don't require for now. I'm going to click next. Okay, I thought I um let's see here. Carson. Hmm. Let's try again. Okay, let's go back to here. Enter the domain administrator account for the forest to configure single sign on. This account is only used to configure single sign on, not store AD. 
not star by 80 connect okay that's the account I enter all right let's try again Hmm. Not sure why he's not taking that. All right, I had to uh, reset my password. I'm not sure why it's, um, it didn't take it. Let's try again. Right, click next. Looks good. So it's going to start syncing. All right, so here it's going to take a few minutes. Um, maybe two three minutes I'm going to pause the video uh, I'm sorry I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back All right, it's finished. I'm going to exit and now let's go to Office 365 portal. Expert expert.com. Enter the password. And now let's go to the admin. And look under users, I should see all my test user are sync. Let's search for one of them. It's called users. User one. All right, look like it's not here yet. Oh, there it is. users one there it is I'm just going to put in user only I should see all my users here's user one user two user three and it looks like the user one is not syncing correctly let's take a look at that user Is that user one? As you can see, it, the domain is incorrect. It has the O365 tube, but I don't even have this domain in in um, Office 365 tenant. So I'm going to change it to this one and click apply. And I can force the data sync, or I can wait. The Delta Sync, it's I think it's gonna run every 30 minutes, and if you can force, if you want to force, you can do it with the command line. Pop
PowerShell. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and have a great day.